Let's get this party started, shall we, by tossing the ball over to our teammate Connor Hines with a look at some huge offseason coaching changes. Uh, you guys, huge is right. Peach County, Northside, and Warner Robins High Schools account for a combined 12 state titles. Three of the best programs in the state and three programs which all were in search of new head coaches this offseason. So as we gear up for the 2023 campaign, it's time to meet the new guys in town. Check it out. Ben Bailey has spent years in Central Georgia as an offensive coordinator, but now for the first time in his career, he's the man in charge at Northside. Hey, you two safe to say it's a step up. I'm just busy. It's anything and everything. If I think I'm going to do something coming in the morning, it's complete opposite. You know, so I've got a plan. I've got things that I know I've got to get done. But outside of that, it's just, you know, it's who knows what I'll be doing. All right, so maybe still getting used to the head coach thing. But Northside football, that's an easy one. Ah, tradition, DNA. When, we moved to Perry, when I was 11 or 12, you know, you always knew Northside and Robbins. You know, those games were massive in tradition and family, and I've, I've lived it since January. The support, man, is there's, there's no place like this place. Oh, and about that team down the street, this year the Eagles will look to beat their rival Warner Robins for the first time in six tries. But for the Demons' new leader, well, this is home. My dad and one of my uncles, they won a state title here in 1988. Playing here, I always had this goal that I wanted the coach kind of follow my dad's footsteps. And the end goal was I always want to be the head coach of Warner Robins High School. It's like, hey, I dream come true that I'm here and doing this. Shane Sams left Warner Robins in 2018 after serving as OC, but he returns with a couple more trophies in that case. The only challenge now. You've gotten to a mountain. You're on top of a mountain, but people are chasing you. It's time to find a higher mountain and start trying to climb that mountain and push it for the next one. There's not many jobs in the state or in the country, but the goal is and we tell the kids. You know, one region, one state on the feeding season. That's what we tell them our goals are. And the very man responsible for that success, he's got a new home too. Marquise Westbrook is now leading the Peach County Trojans. Just being across the field from an, another opponent in different colors, I, I think that feeling is probably still going to be a little bit of the same, uh, but it's going to be a little bit different. I, I can't explain it. You kind of know when it's time, and uh, it, it was time. I prayed about it with my wife. And I'm here now, and I got no, absolutely no regrets. The three-time state champs haven't won at all since 2009. But rebuilding, coach doesn't want to hear it. It's never that. Now it's never it's just going to build it. Just talking to people in the community, they're really excited about football here. Just having that expectation on you, you know, just gives you a little bit of excitement of coming in here every day and just going to work. They've been playing good football here for years. They know how to do that. Three of Georgia's finest teams, led by three of its finest coaches, shaping up for a season to remember on Football Friday Night. All right, now coaching changes are pretty much the norm nowadays on the high school football field. 97 GHSA schools swapped out head men, and a few GIAA teams made changes as well. In addition to the three changes we just talked about, several other Central Georgia schools have new folks in charge when this season kicks off. Adam Lord takes over for Burt Brown at Brentwood. Jarrett Laws is running the show at Central. Matt Murphy succeeds Chris Oxford at Covenant. Dodge County welcomes Thomas Smith to Eastman. Bobby Rhodes now in charge at GM and Tim Suttles is your head red devil at Hawkinsville. Brett Collier taking over for longtime FPD head coach Greg Moore. Joel Harvin in charge at Putnam County while Anthony Williams runs the show at Rutland. Also Pat Collins is at Trutland and Patrick Ray now the boss at Twiggs County. Chad Campbell swapping out the black and gold of Peach County for the green and white of Westfield and Dylan Bass succeeds Randy Grace at Windsor. Another school that made a coaching change the scene of our first tailgate 13. Crawford County High School and their new head coach, Dusty Jump. Frank, back over to you. Ah, a lot of folks swapping places, yeah. Marv. It is the new norm, though. Yeah.